Well, downtown Orlando is a destination for performing arts, sports, a walk in the park, and a place to eat. It's also a place full of history, some of which isn't even in plain sight. We've been digging into a rumored secret tunnel underneath a historic landmark. News 6 anchor and insider guide Crystal Moyer is here to tell us what was uncovered after one of our colleagues went underground. Yes, ladies, this is so cool. It all started with a bit of curiosity. After hearing rumors about some sort of tunnel underneath downtown Orlando during a history tour, New 6 Web producer Jacob Langston did some research, digging deeper into the past. What is now the Beecham nightclub along Orange Avenue has a rich history. It was Orlando's first theater built in 1921, showing silent films and hosting vaudeville performances, featuring a mix of burlesque, comedy, song and dance. Legend has it there was a secret tunnel underneath the theater leading to the historic Angebelt Hotel across the street. You drive over, maybe walk over it a hundred times in your lifetime, you don't even know it's down there. New 6 web producer Jacob Langston learned about it during a history tour. He said the reason the tunnel existed was for vaudeville actors to escape like the crazy crowds at the Beecham back in the day, but reading some other articles, there's maybe speculation that it was used for hiding stuff during Prohibition, but nobody really knows. After some research, working with historians and contacting the Beecham owners, Jacob found the secret passage does exist to some extent. I'm going in. So you go sort of backstage at the Beecham. There's a, a small door that you kind of have to bend down or crawl to get in. And once you're in there, there's a tight little space and there's sort of a trap door that opens and there's a small little like it's metal ladder, you gotta scurry and climb down. And then you can walk down another sort of tunnel. As you can see, it's a tight squeeze. Three feet by three feet maybe. You definitely have to get on your hands and knees. It did stink down there. Um, it reminded me of, I know there's no basements in Florida, but it reminded me of my grandfather's basement in Ohio, just that musty kind of underground smell. Right now I'm sitting underneath the, the Beecham Theater. After crawling several meters through the tunnel, Jacob decided he had enough and turned around. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> and if we turned off the lights, you couldn't see anything. A bit further in the passageway dead ends, possibly filled or blocked many years ago. The tunnel from the Angebelt side, nobody can find it. Like either it was covered during renovation or they just don't know where to look. That wasn't creepy at all. <laughs> all right. And there you have it, a secret tunnel underneath Orange Avenue. Jacob reached out to the city of Orlando to see if any blueprints or plans exist from when the tunnel was constructed, but was told the records don't go back that far. Mm, so convenient. I guess the underground passage is a mystery that will mm. live on. I want to make it clear the <laughs> tunnel is not open to the public. Don't go over there and try to go underground. Okay. I posted more video of Jacob's experience crawling underground on clickorlando.com slash insider so that you don't have to do it yourself because it stinks. Because oh, we're yeah. not going to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it was snowing in that video I know. as he was crawling through there. So they had to use like cell phone video. And the one thing that Jacob said when I interviewed him, he said he couldn't imagine like these actors with these, you know, yeah. outfits crawling in those like three foot by three mm -hmm. foot tunnels. So who knows? Yeah. I feel yeah. like people were it's spooky. Yeah, it I is spooky. I think the prohibition angle is probably Oof. the greater angle instead of these famous actors crawling under Orange Avenue. Yeah, and, and so he reached tunnel. out to a lot of historians mm -hmm. over in Tampa because there's a lot of underground uh, tunnels over in Tampa. And he said that was like the gangster era, like people mm -hmm. would hide things under there, like prohibition. So it's just one of those mysteries. Who knows? If you have an idea, go ahead and comment on clickorlando.com slash insider. A lot I of hear conspiracies. What you guys think. Right. Right. Even, even the other side being closed up the suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And crazy? records don't go that far back. Mm -hmm. So interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> Look what we started. Oh, <laughs> Sad.